Hola, my name is Tony Levy Klaassen and in this video I'm going to share with you guys how I choose music both for my personal and professional projects. I'll be sharing a couple of tricks and tips for you guys as well as a couple of pitfalls to avoid. And for this video I've yet again teamed up with Audio. They provide high quality music and sound effects with easy to understand licensing for a very cheap buck. More on that later in this video. We're gonna be looking at some of my previous work where I've used music from audio. And to make it more interesting, I have asked intern Polly to put her spin on my videos by choosing music that she thinks fits the theme and the products better. So let's start off with the first one, a product video of a Casio wristwatch. For me this was an easy pick. The product is a digital watch from Casio. I don't know the exact year it came out, maybe early 90s or something like that. But for a lot of people, me included, a Casio digital wristwatch is kind of a nostalgic culture reference to movies like Back to the Future series or the nostalgic TV show Stranger Things that takes place in the 80s. The lighting and the backdrop in the setup here is a direct nod to 80s synth wave. So to not pick 80s synth music would just seem weird or even unprofessional. So a few of the criteria we could implement when searching for this song is electronic, vintage and instrumental. And I went with a calm instrumental that I felt fit the pacing of the footage. But keep in mind, when searching for a song, don't limit yourself to the result of your search. Because when I used the criteria electronic, vintage and instrumental, I didn't actually find the specific song that I ended up using. But I did find songs that were close to what I was looking for. So I pressed on the artist icon and I went through their catalog and there I found the perfect song. But I'm curious to see if Intern Polly has the same taste as I have. So Intern Polly, take it away. It doesn't quite seem like Intern Polly understood the task. You just added a lot of barks from the audio sound effects library. You need to pick out, you need to pick out a song that fits the video, okay? So the second video is a fake running commercial and this is from the previous video where I partnered up with audio. And I made this fake ad to show the high pacing and how you could get your heart to race by choosing the perfect song. So when I was searching for this song, I used the criteria as bold, anthemic, and for energy, I placed high. A very basic, but highly contagious beat. Gets you energized and just ready to run off to the world immediately. But kinda curious how intern Polly saw this task. So let's see if you understood it. Take it away. Seriously? You were supposed to add another song and why did you add the barks upon it? Okay, the bark actually matches the beat of the song so I'll give you that. But you gotta change, the task was to change the song to something fitting, okay? You think you could do that for the third video? <sighs> On to the third one, a yoga video. This video was shot for a real estate company located on the Costa Blanca here in Spain. And FYI, I am their marketing manager. The target audience is people in Norway who are looking for a holiday home here in Southern Europe. So instead of just showing fancy houses, we try to sell them the idea and the lifestyle 
of living near the Mediterranean Sea. So with all this back information, you have a very clear direction of what kind of music that will fit the video. My thought process as the video creator was to find something that complements the soothing sounds of the waves crashing in on the beach and the light breeze that hits your body when you're doing this soothing activity yoga and starting your day as good as humanly possible. The criteria I used when searching for this song was ambient, cinematic, and low energy. But funny thing, going back to not limiting yourself to the search results, I couldn't find this specific song when I hit low energy because the, the song starts with low energy, but then it kind of ramps up to another energy level. But I used the part of the song that fit the feeling that I was going for. So when removing the low energy criteria, I was able to find the perfect song from this specific video. It just goes to show that sometimes you gotta experiment with the search results, try adding, try retracting criteria, going browsing through the artist's catalog, and yeah, before you know it, you'll find the perfect song. But now it's intern Polly's final chance, so fingers crossed that you understood your task. Let's have a watch. Wow, I'm actually impressed. You found a very fitting song for this video and you even managed to add a couple of barks in the background that weren't too intrusive. So two thumbs up or two paws up for you, Intern Pole. So to sum up this video, choose music that fits the feeling or emotions that your video is going for. One typical beginner mistake for a lot of filmmakers or video creators is to pick random songs that you think are cool but does not fit the vibe for the video at all. So a big thank you to intern Polly for helping out on this video. As you may have guessed by all the dog bark sound effects she added, audio is also a provider of high quality sound effects and they recently added a search bar so you could just search dog or bark and you'll find the same effects that I used in this video. Audio with two eyes provides high quality music and sound effects with licensing deals that make sense for a very affordable price. And one of the things that makes audio unique is their lifetime membership deal. For a one-time payment only, you can get access to their constantly growing library of high quality music and sound effects for the rest of your life. And by using the affiliate link down below, you're also supporting me and my channel so in advance thank you hope you guys like this video if you did there is a like button down below subscribe to follow along and I and intern Polly will see you in the next video ciao